People spend their whole lives dreaming of flying a sleek, sexy spaceship. And I get to make that happen. Tayo brings out the very best in people. Space should be more than just getting from place to place. It should be full of color, excitement, and full of features you never even knew you needed. Tayo ships are like traveling in living art. Take a look at our catalog, and I just know you'll change your mind. Are you ready to make your dreams come true? Fantastic! We'll have your shiny new ride ready to go at the spaceport if you decide to join the Tayo family. We have the finest ships money can buy. It's so nice to have you here. How can I help you? The founders of Tayo were visionaries that looked at the star yards around and saw a tremendous opportunity. Neon has a life, a beat of its own, and that excitement that life was missing. So they worked on making ships that really sung, had a joy to them, something special. Now Tayo is the jewel of Neon. Goodbye. What ship is the most? Me. I wonder what Miss Ulrich will come up with next. Decisions, decisions. Ah. Neon. The house that Aurora has built. The kids are going to love it. That I'll be a tranquility customer is, for life. Got all our details right. We'll find out I'm going to check out the drone showroom next. Welcome. I to enjoy a great many Please foods and drinks. Tea. Hello, my name's Christine. Up. I'm the office manager here. What brings you in today? Well, you're in the right place. Our office is 100% open to the public. If you'd like to learn more about how our teas are made, you should speak with our blend master. Her name's Nancy. You'll find her in our office just behind you. And thanks for stopping by. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your visit more comfortable. I do, yes. Living in Neon is a dream come true for me, and this job is the icing on the cake. Tranquility takes excellent care of its employees. No, I'm not. I grew up in Aquila City. I always wanted to live near the ocean, so Voli Alpha seemed like the perfect place to move when I was old enough. Of course, back then I didn't realize the whole planet was ocean with zero sunshine. But there's just something about Neon, you know? This city flourishes against the odds, and that's what I love about it now. Oh, it certainly does. While Ryujin allows its subsidiaries a certain amount of independence, some policies are enforced. I heard the CEO is big on morale and personal investment, so she promotes competitive wages, ample time off, and continued education. Oh no, we're just a satellite office here at Ryujin Tower. Since we're a young addition to the corporate family, marketing and finance both thought it'd be beneficial to have a physical presence. So far, it's been really useful for our rapidly growing business. I don't know too much about the history, only that the founding CEO, Dakota Seri, still holds their position today. I heard one of Ryujin's board of directors stumbled upon the original shop while on vacation and was instantly in love. Next thing they knew, Seri's small family business was part of a multi-billion credit corporation. You're welcome back anytime. You can never have too much security these days. The tranquility office, office is such a relaxing vibe. You're welcome to tour the office, but please don't.
disturb the employees. Hello there. Uh, thanks for visiting the drone offices at Ryujin Tower. Can I help you find something? Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm uh, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> Robert. Sorry, I should have introduced myself when you walked up. I I'm still adjusting to this whole office manager thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First week. Thanks for saying that. I'm new at this. I'm still getting my feet under me. Anyway, take a look around the office if you want. It's open to the public. Everybody's pretty busy, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb them too much. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, thank you for visiting Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. Yeah, I'll say. This wasn't even the job they hired me for. I was supposed to be working at Tranquility across the hall as an administrative assistant. Uh, it's just my luck that after I'd been in training for a measly two weeks, the office admin for Drone had to go and retire. It was totally unexpected. Apparently, he went up to the executive floor one day and never came back to his desk. We were told he quit and just walked out. Uh, yeah, I do. I think he retired out of the blue after ten years and left me to clean up his mess. That jerk didn't even write down his computer's password. IT was down here for hours the other day, trying to give me access. You'd think something like that should only take a few minutes. Oh yeah. I used to be an office manager for my old job, but that position wasn't customer facing. I applied for the admin assistant because the pay was almost just as good and be a hell of a lot less stress. Guess that plan backfired. No, not really. I mean, have you been to the Tranquility office? The whole place smells like a warm cup of tea and the staff is beyond friendly. Everybody at Drone is so serious, you barely even get a good morning out of most of the employees here. <sighs> yeah, I know. I I'm getting there. A anyway, sorry for unloading all that on you. I, uh, hate to say it, but your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> the, the rumor is the caps are just a marketing tactic. Catch attention, get people talking. <laughs> guess it works. Robots. Mainly industrial models for helping out on ships and at spaceports. Maybe you've seen our most popular line, the minibots? We have models on display throughout the office. Feel free to have a look. See you around. I have little use for robots, especially ones too small to carry supplies or serve as cover in combat. Working drones seems like a tough gig. been getting any easy for you? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Yeah, it's going all right. IT fixed my computer yesterday, so <laughs> I can actually get some work done now. That's great. Glad to hear it. So, hey, uh, if you ever want to grab a drink after work, I have a friend upstairs who can get us into the Astral Lounge. Are you asking me out on a date? Are you saying no? Uh, no. I'm not, actually. That sounds great. The showroom's worth checking out while you're here. Hey, welcome to Drone. Don't cause any trouble. Busy, busy. Our newest model should be in use at the Neon Spaceport soon.
I've never seen a drone robot perform less than perfectly. How are you doing? Meet any interesting robots lately? These drone robots are always so efficient. into any restricted areas. The best part of this job is all the free tea samples. Welcome to Tranquility. I feel blessed to work at a place that makes me happy. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Visiting Tranquility always cheers me up. There's nothing like the smell of lemon verbena. I'm responsible for monitoring our product's quality to make sure every cup of tea that we deliver is perfect. I'm also the lucky soul who gets to come up with new blends for Tranquility to produce and sell. It's the best part of my job. Are you looking to buy any tea today? I'm happy to make a recommendation. Oh, hmm, it is difficult to pick. I think I'm the most proud of the Dynastic Blend Green Tea. The flavor profile is elegant and refined without any of the bitterness and... <laughs> oh gosh, listen to me going on. I'll spare you and stop there. Oh, well our lemon tea is excellent for sore throats. My daughter tells me it helps with headaches too. Mmm, I'd recommend our Sunray tea, our Dynastic blend, or our Black teas. Our office administrator swears by the Sunray tea. She insists it's better than Terra Brew for a jolt of energy in the morning. Hmm, I'd recommend our Chamomile, Lotus, and Easy Sleep teas. My husband drinks a cup of Easy Sleep every night, and it's worked wonders for his insomnia. Thanks for visiting. Hello there. I'm Nancy Ellicott, Tranquility's Blend Master. Did you have any questions about our tea selections? I want to say it's been eight years or so now. I'm one of the few who came to this location after the acquisition. And good thing I did, otherwise I never would have met my husband, Thomas. Oh, goodness, no. Neon had long since run out of room by the time Ryujin acquired us. Plus, with an environment like this, it's more cost efficient to process the tea where it's grown. <laughs> I am not surprised to hear that. There are a few Ellicott's floating around Ryujin Tower. My daughter Jupiter works at the front desk of the lobby and my husband is an administrative assistant on the executive floor. Stop and say hello to Jupiter next time you're passing her desk, will you? Most people just walk right by her and I think she gets a little bored. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll definitely be visiting the Tranquility Shop in the lobby before I head home. Eugen Industries help you get there. Fill out an application. How can I help? To become part of the most advanced technology. Hey, thanks for stopping by. The name's Ken. Let me know if you have any questions. I know these weapons like the back of my hand. Can't say I'm surprised. You have the look of someone with a steady hand and a good eye. If you've never tried an Arboron firearm, I highly recommend them. They fire more smoothly than Laredo weapons, and they're not as bulky as Combatex models. You can't go wrong. What brings you to Ryujin Tower today? If I were you, I'd start with the Ryujin store. They have Neuroamps on display there. 
They're pretty neat little machines, if you like that kind of thing. Well, I'd better be. I'm a Freestar Navy vet. Firearm expertise comes with the territory. I saw more than my share of action with a gun in my hand. Those days are behind me, though. Now I prefer to stay behind the counter and let other people do the gunslinging. Eh, don't be so surprised. Ryujin Tower's got a little of everything. Besides, here at Arboron, our goal is to provide safety and protection for our customers. That's why we're the only brand to carry our very own non-lethal weapons. The Novaline. Of course. The Nova series uses an electrically charged ammunition that can effectively stun a humanoid target. It's not so useful when it comes to critters, but if you need to buy some time or get someone off your back, they'll do the trick. I think you'll be impressed. We only carry the best at Arboron. Stay safe out there. Ah, welcome back. Can I interest you in anything? I'd love to share a cup of tea with you. Welcome. Please make yourself at home in the lobby. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, neuroamps are our specialty. They're small external devices used to improve overall brain function. Aito Suzuki runs the Ryujin store here in the lobby. He can tell you everything you'd like to know and more if you want to pay him a visit. Almost three years. I can't believe it's been that long. My first day feels like yesterday. I do. It suits me. I like talking to people and watching the day-to-day -day in the lobby. Plus, working here is one of the steadiest jobs you can find in Neon. <laughs> uh, I'm a legacy, so to speak. Both my parents work here. My dad's the administrative assistant to some of the execs, and my mom works at Tranquility. M my dad helped me get this job after I finished an administrative training program a few years ago. I like working close to my family. All right. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Enjoy your day. Our NeuroAmp Development Department and Executive Offices are also located on site at Ryujin Tower, but those areas are off limits to the public. What started out as a small ship tech company has grown to encompass spacecraft design, robotics, and most of all, NeuroAmps. Most of the building is just cubicles for our employees. Uh, Tranquility and Drone, two of our subsidiaries, also have offices upstairs. Both are worth visiting. Come by for a chat whenever you feel like it. You in a buying mood today? Plenty of good stuff. Here, take a look. Bye-bye.
What I don't rather be doing this than getting mixed up with the gangs. I'd be making a fortune if they'd let us fish for the Euphorica? We have everything you want out of Neon. Have I mentioned that I am not fond of seafood? I passed by the store today, boss. Your tag's still on it. Yeah, and it's gonna stay that way. If that old Cyclops knows what's good for him. I'm an artist. If you want, I can turn your rib cage into a knife rack. You like art? I'll just have a beer for now. I'll have that ready for you shortly. Thanks, Micah. Oh, you'll like this. Just head on over to Neon Tactical and check out the robot. It's my best work. Are you in a gang? <laughs> you sound like a middle-aged bank teller. Yeah, I'm in a gang. The Disciples. Maybe you've heard of them. Euphoric is home for people like us. And by people like us, I mean killers, thugs, and thieves. Now, I haven't killed anyone in a while, but that just means I'm due. Only when I have a knife in my hand. The rest of the time, I just paint. That Cyclops should be thanking me. I dressed up his toy real nice, gave him a total makeover. He's lucky that's all I did after what that thing did to my crew. I thought it was pretty clever. If I trashed it, it'd stink for a bit, but he'd get over it. So I took a can of spray paint and put my tag on it. Now, every time that Cyclops opens up that eye, he's going to see my art on his buddy. We tried to rob his store and reload our crew. That's when his little toy unloaded on us. Lost some good disciples in that group. If anything, that freak should be paying me. Yeah, I do. And I'll make art out of your guts if you step out of line. Fine by me, punk. Let's paint the walls with your blood. Ooh, we're under attack! <gasps> They're picking us! I'm out! And once again, we are triumphant. Care for another Chimera? Sure. Thanks, Micah. I keep them coming. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Could interest you in a visit to the members now? These are too short. Ugh, wish I could, but I can't swing that right now. Understandable. In the meantime, please let me know if there's anything else you need. Hey Plenty there. of space in the members' lounge today. Come in and let your cares melt away for a while. Certainly. Now you do understand that the fee is for unlimited use and that it's non-refundable. Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather... unique items. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Sure. What would you like? You're always welcome here. Excuse me. I'll take a Chimera. Thanks. I'll have that ready for you shortly. Thanks, Micah. Care for another Chimera? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Micah. I keep them coming. It's been a rough day. If you're in need of some extra relaxation... You're today, good? Perhaps I could interest you in a visit... If you require now. any Aurora to enhance your experience, <sighs> you let me know. I can't swing that right now. Hello there! 
On behalf of Euphorica, I welcome you to our members' lounge. I'll be happy to provide whatever you need from our private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora, perhaps? <laughs> yes, well, due to the extreme exclusivity of the members' lounge, we like to keep the fact that we offer Aurora <clears throat> confidential. You can rest assured that purchasing Aurora from this establishment is not only safe, it's completely legal. Excellent. We have plenty for purchase. We also offer an assortment of beverages, so feel free to browse our selection anytime. Begging your pardon, I find that fraternizing with the customers can lead to problems. I prefer my private life remain my own. No offense intended. Ah, an interesting perspective. I hadn't thought of it that way. If you're wondering why I'm here, it's actually thanks to Micah. When you're born in Neon, you're either destined for the top or the bottom of the food chain. There's no middle. My family started out barely making ends meet. After my parents lost their lives, I ended up as a street rat. That's when the gangs preyed on me. I fell in with the disciples, and they helped me keep one foot out of the grave. Barely. My mother was killed in an accident at the Xenofresh plant. Some type of malfunction with the machinery caused her death. Her absence sent my father into a deep depression. He became despondent and listless. We barely spoke for over a year. Every night, I'd find him sitting on the edge of the upper platform, staring out into Volai's ocean. I'd bring him food and leave it beside him. One morning, I returned to his usual spot and he was gone. His food was still there. And at that moment, I somehow knew I'd never see him again. That's why I eventually turned to the gangs. I had no one. No sense of belonging. I hope you understand. I actually was having the time of my life, if you can believe that. Almost too much fun. You see... All that violence, all the drugs and death, it takes its toll. I don't mean physically, I mean mentally. I was in a bad place. I don't know what Micah saw in me, but she pulled me out of the gang. She actually paid them cash to buy me out, if you can believe that. After she helped me sober up, I asked her why she bothered. She told me I reminded her of someone she lost. She never explained it beyond that. I've been here ever since. It's what the people of Neon have labeled the most destitute of our citizens. It's a miserable life filled with loneliness and desperation. <sighs> Spending each waking moment fighting to survive an unforgiving city. To be a street rat is a curse I wouldn't wish upon even my worst enemy. It's quite simply a complete and utter absence of humanity. I apologize if I've dampened your mood. You must understand that speaking about these things brings back painful memories. Absolutely. Just remember to breathe and relax. Please, let me know if you'd like any Aurora.
What's up? Those chimeras really back a bunch. Need a weapon? Maybe some ammo? Core Kinetics isn't the only game in town, you know. Good work. I hope you made him squirm. Fine by me. That delinquent little punk deserves it. Thanks. Sticks is going to get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's going to look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. You know, Sticks, crime in this city gets worse by the day. Vandals, thieves, gangs. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Don't you understand, Sticks? Crime happens. Stay safe, buddy. all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double the going rate. <clears throat> Nothing like a velocity after a rough shift at Zeno. No customer. Bienvenue. Before you order, I have two simple rules you need to know. Oh, this is my place. That means everyone in here is under my protection. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. Blech. If you're buying drinks, you better have cash. Madame Sauvage does not offer credit. Good. Ça c'est bon? Oh, well, thank you very much for the compliment. I'm told my family tree traces itself back to Europe. On Earth, specifically the region known as France. A long and proud history, no? Oh, well then, I'm honored to be your first, mon présent. I must say, the atmosphere here does not seem to warrant such strict rules. So. What can Madame Sauvage get you? Have you come to try Velocity, perhaps? Or do you prefer something with a little less kick? It's nothing less than heaven in a glass. As though the universe itself was resting her lips on yours. My own... personal creation. You want information? Go read a book. You want a drink? Talk to Madame Sauvage. That's how things work in my place. Of course, of course. Anything for my special new customer.
Hmm. On my home planet, we have beautiful beaches. And during certain times of the year, the ocean lights up in beautiful spectrums of color. Now, science will tell you that this is from tiny microscopic organisms that are emitting bioluminescent light. But I believe it's so much more. I think it's a dance, a celebration. It's nature's way of giving thanks to the sun for nourishment. It's breathtaking. That is the essence of velocity. It's a toast to nature and all its splendid wonders. A sudden merger of humankind to the cosmos. Unfortunately, that will have to remain my secret for now. It's safe if the identities of the involved parties remain anonymous. Let's just say I was owed a substantial debt, and the bar was how I got paid, and leave it at that. Administrator Bayou has forbidden any place other than the Astral Lounge from selling Aurora. Now, if Euphorica wants to sell it in their members' lounge, or Lagrand wants to mix it into Blend, that's their choice. What? I prefer to stay off of Bayou's radar and keep Neon security off my back. We'll see you again soon, yes? What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? This is such bullshit. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the Strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the Disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea! Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the Disciples? <laughs> Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the Disciples. Now look at us. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I'm this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the upside strikers. Oh, nothing. Joining us now is great. People are banging down our door to go down with this ship. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. What a city, am I right? They don't have places like this in Aquila, that's for sure. Aurora, it's a mood. You feel me? Peace. I really need to stop hanging out in Absinthe. Who's this? Someone says they might want to join. Recruit? We shouldn't be doing that anyhow. You want to join us? We're a gang. You understand that, right? Not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. 
We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line, but I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Ebbsite is where all the loser and sad stories end up once Neon and Administrator Bayou has used them up. Surviving here ain't easy. Sometimes blood's got to flow just to get food based on your plate. But we only take what we have to. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? We get into our fair share of conflict, but having someone skilled in violence right now? Very useful. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. You realize you're trying to impress a gang, right? Not some sort of hookup? All right, you got powers. Sounds special. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebsite's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. Hmm. Sensible. But I have a funny feeling about you. Joining a street gang was not something I felt we needed to do today, but so be it. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Oh, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. Don't break a leg. I know Briggs said, go quiet, because it's, or whatever. Because it's an audition. I say, take as many of the Disciple bastards out as you can. If the Disciples spot you, they're gonna attack straight away. I can't believe you're actually going to do this. See you later. If you hurt any of the Strikers, I will break you. The Strikers are upstairs, so we better be on our best behavior. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Until next time.
come then. Gotta Meet your death. No! What did you need? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Is that it then? You have my attention. I keep whatever you give me, yes? That is the deal? So, yes. Goodbye. Busy. You want the good stuff? Try somewhere else. Do what it takes to survive. You're no use to anyone dead. Madame Sauvage is a serious player in Ebside. For previous favors rendered, she's protecting us. And even the disciples won't go against her. But we take one step outside, and all bets are off. I had another life, but I lost it all, taken from me. Vogel and I were cast out on the street. We couldn't find work after months. Things got dark. So crime was the only option. We picked up misfits and unfortunates from there, but all of them fighters, willing to do anything it takes. The Disciples have got the numbers, they've got the guns. What we have left are the diehards. But we are a family. We genuinely care about each other and have each other's back. So, we may be down, but we are not beaten. So, stealth was a no-go, but... <laughs> shit. You took all of them out. The Strikers can use that. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. As soon as I realized that the Disciples had sniper rifles and assault rifles, I ordered everyone to go to ground. But we can't keep it up forever. All we need to be back in the game are weapons of our own.
Usually, we're an all-in type of thing. But for you, I'll make an exception. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved r and hit a patch for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Being grounded is just the worst. The absolute worst. So, you're part of the gang now, huh? Welcome, then. Don't be too put out if it takes a while for the hooligans to warm up to you. They ain't big on outsiders. Really? They are? Son of a bitch. So apparently it's just me they had a problem with. I mean, I wasn't at my best, but still. Really classy. Me? No one hell no. I used to be a trader. Had a top-of-the-line tayo, a flush bank account. I was at the top of my game. Then, one really epic crash at the Astral Lounge, and poof, gone. Bye-bye. Woke up in the gutter, and I've been trying to crawl out ever since. The whole damn system is rigged. They rope you into the lounge and just suck your credits dry. Then, when you got nothing, nothing, you're just another junkie in Epside. No way to make credits and get out. If it weren't for the strikers, well, you get the picture. The whole damn rig is built on it. Don't let the corpse and towers fool you. Drugs are the blood of the whole damn place. But enough of that. You need something? I have a few hustles of my own. Plus, I'm not bad at a bit of the stand and deliver. Haven't had to end too many people. Yet. <laughs> Times are bad now, though. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> Man, when you're tripping Aurora, it's like nothing else. But it can eat you up. Stay clear, kid. Trust me on it. You know where to find me. <laughs> so you're part of the team now. <laughs> All right, not bad. Briggs may be in charge, but know that I'm his second. So stay on my good side, right? That's right. Friendship. Family. You're gonna do great here. Not going to lie. You've come to us during a shit time. It wasn't that long ago that we held our own against the Disciples. Now we're just hiding behind our mother's skirt. We need to do something. Ah, <sighs> well. Did you want something? Serious goddamn military hardware. How can a knife compare to a fully auto Grendel, right? I mean, before then, we gave as good as we got. But all of those bastards are armed. And we tried to make a stand. And after the funerals, we hunkered down. Everything was pretty fine, till a couple years ago. They had their side of town, we had ours. I mean, we'd have misunderstandings, but... Briggs always sorted things out. Then one day, the Disciples wanted all of Ebside. It's been blood and knives ever since. Talk later. The Ebside Strikers. Good talk. The streets will devour any who don't respect them. Hmm. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. Andrea has lost more than any of us. She used to be a pilot, had a ship, a life, everything. Now she walks the hard road of staying clean. Leaves her in a bad mood, pretty much always.
Andrea does what she has to. Respect that. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. Oh yes, every day a different struggle. To stay alive, to stay good in the head. But the Strikers and Briggs took me in, gave me a family. I will do anything to protect them. And I mean anything. <laughs> oh, you are focused. Good. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs, signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there, that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood, but I say make the disciples bleed at every chance. Here are three locations. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. A lot of the signs are high up. Be careful up there. Very dangerous. The strikers steal all sorts of things. I handle the stash. Not sure why me, although I don't think anyone would trust Vogel or Andrea to do it. Many don't. You can find corpses anywhere. No one notices anymore. And the lucky ones, they have to sell themselves, their soul, beliefs, anything and everything. There is no hope here, only the struggle. Of course. Always keep your eyes open. Strikers look out for one another, right? I think you're gonna fit in well. We'll talk later. I hope you aren't here to cause any trouble. Can I get you something? A tout à l'heure. I wasn't doing anything. I feel a little... Yeah, yeah, catch you later. Don't go causing trouble. What have we here? Decided to drop by on Neon and do a little vandalism, huh? There's a steep, steep fine for that. Zero tolerance. Tell you what, you pay the fine now, and I'll let you off with a warning. For things are going to get messy. Maybe. But as soon as you started putting up a striker gang sign, that crosses the line. Don't try to bullshit me. You're one of ours. This just got complicated. No way. It's my ass if something goes wrong here. I'm done talking to you. So either pay up, or you get shot resisting arrest. And with that, we will be on our way. 
Enjoy your stay on Neon. <laughs> Personnel. <coughs> I would hope for the sake of these workers that after a while you get used to the smell. Mm -hmm. To ship design can't beat the original. <sighs> oh, need a moment to walk that off.
best not to leave anything useful behind. <clears throat> This place is like my second home. I think you're gonna fit in well. Really well. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. If people are in the wrong place at the wrong time, you might not have much choice. Gang fights are no holds barred, so make your peace with it. There is always a choice, and if we wish to avoid collateral damage, we can. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor, not mail-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the Strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. All the Strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back, with interest. Now's the time for those strikers to make a comeback. Drink this! Pull up a jam and have a drink. Finally, Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I've been telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. Yeah, you better believe it. Both of us worked for that hellhole Zeno Fresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs' leg got crushed in an accident. So Xenofresh, being the class act they are, they fired him, and later even sued him. So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The Ebside Strikers sort of grew around us. You better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons cash, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. No promises. The till's running empty. So if I happen to see some marks on the way, then the fishies better pay up, know what I mean? Oh, it'll work, all right? Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. 
Fun time. Maybe you'd like to try a venison. Hey, get away from me. Fully stocked and ready to sell. If you have a moment, say hello to my wife, Rosa. Much better, thanks for asking. I don't exactly know what you said to Dietrich, but he's certainly turned everything around. He's really stepped up and taken an active role in fighting Neon Security's corruption. He's even organizing the merchants' meetings with me. Best of all, I think we've become good friends. Which is a rare thing to come across in this city, I can tell you that. Oh, dear lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. Because they're bottom-feeding parasites. They steal and murder and security couldn't care less. Us businessmen have to draw a line somewhere, and this is mine. I've known Briggs for ages, and he's not the problem. It's people like Hatchet and Andrea. They're dangerous. They are definitely the lesser evil. All right, already, all right. You pay and I'll send Briggs his armor. But this is a one-time deal. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. That's not a discount. That's robbery. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. That's a good one. Yeah, I hope so. You know what? I like you. Maybe we can work something out. I hear you. Fine, fine. You can have your discount if you just stop your yapping. I'll get the armor over to Madame Savage. We're done. Now, James? 
If you're wondering what that smell is, it's... The strikers, darling. Yeah, we had those blighters all tied up until you came along. The name's Holt, and I'm here to offer you a deal. I'll let that slide. The strikers are old news, positively analog. You help us take out their so called leaders. And the disciples can pay big. Credits, yeah? A dumpster full of them. Literally, if that's your thing. And you give a damn about that why? This ain't your fight, pal. Ebbsite's always been about survival of the fittest. As long as the tourists stay away, no one cares what happens. In order to keep a rat in place, you gotta scare it, terrify it. And if it happens to be good for a laugh, well, that's a bonus, right? Then it's time to die, asshole. <laughs> Did they have anything of value? Try anything, you're dead.
<laughs> we got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. Yeah, and that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Hell, at first I thought you were some dumb thrill seeker. But you're, well, pretty awesome. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie. Taking it is gonna be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Go in guns blazing? We hold back? You'll be drawing a lot of heat, but if you think you can handle it, works for me. You heard the plan. Let's do it. Time is over. Downstairs, now! You think Neon Security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence, a bit of murder. Word is, all of this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? As I can see. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the Disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue and starts wearing Neon Security Black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. Setting street rat against street rat is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a... a cop. Shit. We could get a real pad. Maybe even move out of Pepside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon Security seriously will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? That's Neon for you. Directly employing gang members seems like exactly what I would expect of Neon Security. No offense to present company intended, of course. 
Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, no we'll be forever grateful. With resources and backup, the streets are gonna be safer. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut. You guys did this? It's almost impressive. Almost. Finally! I can leave this garbage dump! I still don't know what to think. Yeah, real job again. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs>